for which I will take দেখো দেখতেছো এই লিস্টটা পড়ো ইফ হ্যাভ এনি ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট মি টু ডিসকাস এনি অফ দিস পয়েন্টস আস মি অ্যাবাউট ইট এরপর এটু এই এই পেজটা হচ্ছে প্র্যাকটিক্যাল রিসার্চ চ্যাপ্টারের ফুল কন্টেন্ট সিলেবাস না রিভিশন চেকলিস্ট হুইচ ইজ মোর প্রিসাইজ দ্যান দ্য সিলেবাস সিলেবাসও দেখাবো আগে এই লিস্টটা পড়ো সি ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু আস্ক এনিথিং Oh my god So double insulation ta ek bar bujhe den Yes sir double insulation ta Double insulation ki tomar kotha likha ache Acha notes e likha ache am bujhachi ha tomar kache likha likha ache boltechi Double insulation is a design feature of an electrical equipment so that it ensures no electrical part will ever come to human contact soja banglay bolle it is a design feature soja banglay bolle ekta device ke emon bhabe design kora hoyeche je tar electrical components gula kono obosthatei manusher songsporsha ashbe na it is a design feature definition ta ekbar english e bolben likhe nilo na likhe niba na karon eta tomader notes e dewa ache don't 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 do that you turn up the uh, notes shared for particular chapter okhane le dds e likha ache shune jao bujhar chesta koro double insulation is a design feature of a of an electrical device which ensures no electrical part will ever come into human contact tarpor sign at initially so the use of circuit breaker acha circuit the purpose of a circuit breaker is to disconnect the live connection from an equipment if there is a current higher than safe the purpose of a circuit breaker is to disconnect the live connection into a device if there is a current higher than safe or safety value or you can say rating value eta hocche এক এক সেন্টেন্সে সাকিব বেকার এর কাজ যে হোস ইউটিউব আস ইউডিন আস ফর দা অপারেশন ইউ আস ফর দা পারপাস বুঝা গেছে ওকে তারপর এই লিস্টটা পড়তেছো সবাই বলবান অনেক সুন্দর এই লিস্টে এখানে আছে এই এই লিস্টে যা আছে এই জিনিসগুলো তোমাদের জানা লাগবে স্যার একটা আর্থ ওয়ার কি অন ইটসেলফ anything else apparently no tomar kono question korte cho na so ekhane safaite ekta question korche wasmi ekta question bolche how to wire a mains plug how to wire a mains plug er idea ta hocche tomader plug er je figure ta chilo 
লাগে যে ফিগার ছিল হচ্ছে যে তোমার লাইভ মানে ওয়ায়ার গুলা ওয়ায়ার গুলা কোনো স্ট্যান্ডার্ড পার্ট থাকতে পারবে না কোনো ম্যাট্রিক পার্ট হালকা বের হয়ে যেতে পারবে না প্লাগের যে একটা ওয়ায়ারের যে কেবলের যে শীত মানে আউটার কভারিং সেটা তোমার ক্লিপের ভিতরে থাকতে হবে দেন দা ওয়ায়ার শুড বি প্রপারলি প্রপারলি কাট সো দ্যাট দে ট্রাভেল থ্রু দা ডিজাইনড চ্যানেল ফর দোজ ওয়ায়ার আর্টওয়্যারকে তুমি সরকার डायरेक्टली মানে দিলে হবে না দেন লাইভ ওয়ার কানেকশন শুড হ্যাভ এ বিল্ট ইন ফিউজ উইদিন দা প্লাগ এই জিনিসগুলি মানে ওয়ার আই মিন ইজ দিস পিকচার দ্যাট ইজ দা কম্পারিজন বিটুইন দিস টু পিকচারস আমি দেখাই দেখে দেখলে তোমাদের একটু ভালো মনে পড়বে फोर्स सार्फेस ऑन टू हुई दबजेक्ट इज पुशिंग it is one of the newton's third law pairs the object pushes the surface the surface pushes the object back that means the force with which the surface pushes back onto the object perpendicularly is the normal contact force yes normal Our contact tension. force is experienced by the object and comes I from don't. the surface yes sir okay. tension tension is the force that whenever you tension at definition ami articulate korte parteche na let me just look it up the tension force is defined as the force that is transmitted through a rope string or wire when pulled by forces acting from opposite sides the tension force is directed over the length of the wire and pulls energy equally on the bodies at, at the ends okay makes sense sabhi dekho ei definition bujha jacche kina ami ekta zoom e ami ekta boro kore diye dichi so that porte ekta easier hoy isha na thakar dorkar nei এটা বড় করলে পর আমি বিরোধ করব আমি এখান থেকে কপি করে নিয়ে এটাকে বড় করতেছি দিস ওয়াজ নট সাপোজড টু বি হিয়ার দেখো পড়া যাচ্ছে না यस স্যার একটা সেকেন্ড দিবেন প্লিজ হুম শিওর শিওর Amane uh, sir it is kind of like a wave uh, which it is a carrier of energy tension force bujhi nai tumi tumi question ta ekbar bolo sir the text is not making sense to me unfortunately the tension is force defined as the force that is transmitted through rope string or wire so you need a physical medium for tension to be available that's the first thing that they're stating in this part when pulled by forces acting from opposite sides so the tension would be available within that medium physical medium when the two forces are working in on opposite directions outwards that is the tension force is directed over the length of the wire and pulls energy equally on the bodies at the ends pulls energy equally on the bodies of the ends man hotse the tension force will try to move objects which it is attached to using equal force which essentially mean or translates into mathematical terms that 
if you are if a wire or a string is in tension the value of the tension should be equal in every part of the of the wire it shouldn't have a, a, from the very start end to the very end end or for very last end you would have the same value of force who they would be trying to transmit energy transmit energy means basically in work energy both amra work done bujhatsi because we are working with uh, they are discussing with some sort of force so force if can, it can produce some sort of displacement in its own direction will produce work work is in interconverted to money it is interconvertible to energy so the uh, the idea of work and energy can be replaced it can replace each other in applicable cases or in most cases to be honest so uh pulls energy equally on the bodies that ends man hocche it tries to move the objects with equal amount of pulling force the work that it tries to do or the work that it actually do does uh is equal on both sides Yes, yeah, so the work it attempts to do is equal on both sides. That means if two guys pull on a rope, when guy A pulls with force X, the rope will try to pull guy B with force X, and at the same time, with the same force X, the guy A will experience right. Yes, essentially. And according to the book. To our lecture copy's definition, it is the pull on both sides of a spring, string, or rope. So that means the force on the sorry to yet a job in with page that is the Ami upload the chip second page. That means in this. case the rope is being pulled by the truck that means the tension force experienced by the truck is backwards as the car is kind of technically pulling it at the back and yes. the force on the car is forwards as the rope is trying to pull the car forwards so regular like newton law pair newton's third law pair forces any time you want to define two forces as newton's third law pairs you have to maintain at least two properties which is very useful for distinguishing them the two forces that you want to define as newton's third law pair they cannot act on the same object they has to be in the same alignment they have to be working in opposite direction equal value ei charta property jodi tumi observe korte paro then you can define those two forces as newton's third law pair for example rope er upore je dui ta force kaaj korteche oi dui ta ke tumi newton's third law pair bolte parbo na because they are both they are they are on a single object rope exactly what what you can say let's say at this contact point at this contact point the rope is pulling the truck to the right at let's say 100 newton and the truck is pulling on the rope at this point to the left by exactly 100 newton those two forces can be into third law pair yes sir a rope is pulling the truck backwards and the truck is pulling the rope forwards and the rope is being pulled to two sides by the car and truck and the rope is pulling the truck and car towards each other with the same value this is tension force right yes, like when the yes. rope being pulled exactly what you, what you said is absolutely correct j when the rope is actually being stretched but it is trying to come back to its original shape and in the process trying to pull the two pullers closer together this force is the tension not essentially the the rope does not have to be flexible it can transmit energy without being without deformation as well if the if the truck has to move to the left the car also have to move to the left provided the rope is an inextensible material that is also that is also defined as tension the rope yeah. material does not have to be flexible yes, what you said about the idea of compression and decompression or, or expansion and, and squeezing and expanding that doesn't have to be there it might be there but it doesn't have to be ठीक है सर ओके सर श्योर शाफायत एक टाइप क्वेश्चन दिस है शाफायत तो आप क्वेश्चन ना बोलो अस्ट्रोमेंट प्लेसेस अ स्मॉल रिटिकल हीटर इनसाइड अ कप ऑफ वाटर एस शोन इन फिगर 11.1 द स्टूडेंट डिटरमाइन इस दैट द द रिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ द हीटर इन स्पेस कप ऑफ वाटर रिटिकल हीटर स्टूडेंट अच्छा ह� शरत की बुझो नहीं माने व्हाट डू यू नीड हेल्प विथ
Halo, sahabat. Sir, chat the link. Oh, sorry. Hey, Graph of a resistance against temperature, sir. I'm kind of confused. Oh, sir. 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 Oh, Sir, or a question or part of the problem or chat a little bit. Okay, okay. Let's see. Okay. Oh, okay. You have to think about this, sir. Okay, okay. Sorry. I did not, I, 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 I couldn't make sense of the first information that you wrote. Sir, a, sir, a part of the question. Okay, don't worry. My bad. I, I, I couldn't understand, make sense of your, of your question. A student places, okay. Whenever you are trying to label a question as number, it is always convenient if you give two two curve brackets on its side, something like this. I mean, generally, both this not to teach you or something. If you are trying to mention a question like that, if you write it in this fashion, it is not confusing. Uh, it is definitely a question number, so that's uh, useful for. Uh, future references. Uh, so let's go for it. Question also says the student determines the little power of the in the space of the curve, draw an elliptical circuit. So the student uses. Uh, so egula egula use kore, I'm going to act like a cash call. I'm going to have this. 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 I'm going to Just because I want this space blank. Amrajee Kasta Kurbo, we want to be able to measure the voltage across these two points, and we also want to we also want to measure the current that passes through this uh, uh, heater, so that by doing the product of these two things, voltage into current, P equals to VI, can give us the electrical power. So what we can draw could look like this. What is Sujit Bol sir? Include switch the volume, but I'm still switch the electrical circuit should always have switches. It's a chameter circuit, and then if you want to draw a voltmeter, just draw a voltmeter across the two points. Now, who's that chicken? So, a problem to gallo. If I go by the sequence, uh, ask me question, also answer will say, uh, automatic question will so. How to calculate liquid pressure in millimeter mercury and centimeter mercury? As it are it are different to it a booze. Liquid pressure calculation, preferably I'm like a manometer. We don't uh, usually go for uh, going for go for barometer. However, barometer uh, smartly tell you use jai. It's not impossible to use, but idea to share a com. I mean, I mean, liquid pressure is a concept to buja telecomas is a clear hobby. Monocore at a certain beaker at a monocore at a certain beaker, a 10 centimeter tall at a beaker, put up behind a put up behind the field up. So it is an open surface pressure of atmospheric pressure. If you go one centimeter below, at that location, the pressure would be equal to the one centimeter liquid pressure above that point plus the atmospheric pressure. If you go a bit, bit more down, you'll have more and more and more pressure. The deeper you go, uh, the deeper you go, the more liquid pressure you'll get. So the total pressure will also increase. That's the idea of how pressure works. Now, our liquid pressure formula is P equals to H rho G. So, a can D hot chat a physical location of a fixed at a constant. So, we take amra, he shall be a amra constant, he shall be a return in this school, not a note of variable now. The two variables that we have left is one is H, the other one is rho. At the other one is liquid depth, at the other one is liquid density. The key idea is that if you use a very dense liquid, you can work with a small height of a liquid. Also, the other one is liquid depth like become. The liquid default density, which is high. 
অল্প ডেপথে তুমি অনেক প্রেসার পেতে পারবা ফর एग्जांपल আমরা যদি অ্যাটমোস্ফিয়ার প্রেসারকে ব্যারোমিটার দিয়ে মার্কারি ব্যারোমিটার দিয়ে মেজার করি সেটার ভ্যালু হচ্ছে 76 সেমিমিটার অফ মার্কারি 76 সেমিমিটার কিন্তু কম কম বড় না একটা মিটার রুলের 3/4 একটা মিটার রুলের 3/4 মানে নিয়ারলি তুমি যদি চিন্তা করো এটা হচ্ছে তোমার আমাদের যে 30 সেমিমিটার বড় রুলার যেগুলো আছে 30 সেমিমিটার যে রুলারগুলো আছে ওরকম 2 এন্ড হাফ রুলারস একটার উপর একটা স্ট্যাক করলে দুইটা ফুল তার উপর আরেকটা হাফ যতটুকু লম্বা হবে অতটুকু হাইটের মার্কারি মার্কারি কলামের নিচে বা মার্কারি লিকুইড ফ্লুইডের নিচে যে প্রেসার থাকে ওটা হচ্ছে তোমার 1 1 অ্যাটমোস্ফিয়ার প্রেসারের সমান নাও এই ইকুয়াল প্রেসার যদি আমরা ওয়াটার দিয়ে দেখাতে যাই তাহলে আমাদের হাইট লাগবে হচ্ছে নিয়ারলি 10 মিটারস 10 মিটারস ইজ অ্যাপ্রক্সিমেটলি 4 স্টোরি অর 3 3 এন্ড হাফ স্টোরি টল সো দা আইডিয়া ইজ দ্যাট উই ক্যান মেজার হাউ মাচ pressure is there using mercury or any other liquid but the dense of a denser uh, a liquid that you use the smaller height of the liquid you have to deal with or your experimental setup can become significantly smaller which will be easier to work with that is the biggest advantage at a two and a half story tall at a water pipe ne experiment kora ta khub shohaj bepan na but at a 76 centimeter tall at a mercury column ke laboratory environment e चिंता करो खुब सहज शुद्ध बुद्धि मन पड़ते बुझ মনে করো তোমাকে দেওয়া স্যার মানে আচ্ছা মানে ডিড ইউ কনফিউশন ইট ক্লিয়ার অর শুড আই টক মোর নো স্যার বুঝছি আচ্ছা বাস উই হ্যাভ টু পিপল রেজিং হ্যান্ড অপরদিন বলো সমস্যা নাই আমরা পাবলিক খুব বেশি না যে হ্যান্ড রেজ করা লাগবে না বলো অপরদিন হ্যালো স্যার আই অলরেডি আস্কড দ্য কোশ্চেন আই ফরগট টু লোয়ার হ্যান্ড उधार হ্যাঁ বলো স্যার আর যদি কোনো লাইফ ওয়্যার কেসিং এর সাথে লেগে যায় তাহলে নিউট্রাল ওয়্যার ওটা নিউট্রালাইজ করে ফেলবে না না নিউট্রাল ওয়্যার তো কেসিং এর সাথে লাগানো না নিউট্রাল আর সরি স্যার আর টু আর টু আমি তোমাদেরকে বলবান শুনো তোমাদেরকে আমি খুব সিম্পল একটা ডিভাইসের একটা ভিজুয়ালাইজেশন দেই যাতে করে তোমাদের জিনিসটা বোঝা ইজিয়ার হয় शीतकाल
that's copper acha let's say pathorer color hocche na acha let's say pathorer color hocche ei color whatever er moddhe etar bhitore mone koro ekta live wire dukteche live wire ta ke ami red diye dekhaitechi eta live wire dukteche ekhane প্যাস পুস প্যাস পুস দিয়ে হিটারে তার তার দেওয়া আছে এখানে এখানে তারটা মেটাল ওয়্যার টা एक्चुअली এক্সপোজড যাতে করে হিট জেনারেশন করতে পারে এই কিন্তু যখন বাইরে হয়ে যাচ্ছে তখন তার কালার দিয়ে দিতেছে ব্লু বিকজ নিউট্রাল ওয়্যারস আর সাপোজ টু বি ব্লু অর ব্ল্যাক লাইভ ওয়্যারস আর সাপোজ টু বি রেড অর ব্রাউন এই পুরো জিনিসটাকে এটা তো একটা খালি একটা ইকুইপমেন্ট হলো মনে করে এই পুরো জিনিসটাকে একটা মেটালিক একটা কভার দিয়ে দেওয়া আছে মনে করে সেই মেটালিক কভারের কালার হচ্ছে পিঙ্ক ढुकार आगे अथवासिबलेशन देवा ढुकार मेटल बेयर वायरपोज हो निट्रल वायर कनेक्शन कारण This is a live wire connection. जिकने continuous energy feed होते हैं। इतना हिंदू energy supply infinite. You have to understand that. इधर को हमने जो एक टचार्ज आज चे, एक टचार्ज जो flow हो चुका है, एक टचार्ज का हमें आठ टर्डी पास कर दिलाम। आठ चार्ज आज तक सीना नो। चार्जेस आ continuously moving back and forth, which is an AC supply. So energy energy flow टाइम तो infinite. You have to assume that. So whenever you say the word neutralize, what do you mean by it? Try to think about it and and answer. then sir arch wire lagano purpose theke jodi continuously supply thakte hoy kon fuse to dole already stop kore debe na that's the whole point of having the fuse what say extra to to the hand which is sorry but clear is ekon puro puri ha mane sequence to bujha geche yes sir acha thik ache उटवर्ड Yes. If we consider the force being experienced by the ceiling, then the force is downwards. What is this force? It is the tension force. Right? Yes. Yes. Executed. Executed through the string. Executed through the string. It don't need to jump in place. If I remove the rope and somehow magically connect the truck and car so that the truck can move the car forward then that would not be tension force as the uh, energy uh, i mean work is being done is to the car truck body directly into ekhane jeto ekta rope diye car ke connect korechi since the force is acting on the car through the rope this is why we are calling that force tension force right essentially yes and if i go deep down Dancer can be no as well. Let me elaborate my point. Monaco, I am not a genius. Take it. So let me choose this picture and take this out. Put it over here. 
মনে করো আমি এই জিনিসটার এখানে এই রোপটাকে সরায় ফেলে এখানে একটা এখানে একটা ম্যাগনেটিক কাপলিং দিলাম ইলেকট্রোম্যাগনেটিক কাপলিং কি ব্যাপার মানে হচ্ছে মানে হচ্ছে এইটার শেষ মাথায় একটা ম্যাগনেট লাগানো মনে করো সেই ম্যাগনেটটা হচ্ছে রেড এটার এই মাথায় আর একটা এই ম্যাগনেটটা হচ্ছে রেড আর ওইটার ওই মাথায় আর একটা ম্যাগনেট অপোজিট ফেসে লাগানো যে ম্যাগনেটটা হচ্ছে মনে করো ব্লু and you have the connection with these two magnets so we have you have opposite poles attracting each other so eta mona koro hocche ene ei phase ta hocche mona koro north pole ar ei phase ta mona koro hocche south pole thik ache tokhono tader moddhe attraction howa possible you can physically say this is also tension although in this case the tension is working from the type of force that is magnetic attraction that is also possible we, to name it we can name it tension because the forces are trying to pull the two object the force that is working on that uh, medium is working outwards bolo outwards this that working upwards outwards upwards and outwards mane one is working to the on the left another is working to the right outwards i meant so, so this is not a rope but this is doing the similar thing trying yes. to bring two objects closer together yes but never able to complete complete so this is tension this is what tension is all about yes the infinite attempt to bring the two objects closer together but never able to complete it like an asymptote you can say that for example the force by which art uh, the sun pulls the art towards uh, towards its center the gravitational force if yes. in any case for the case for the sake of discussion you want to label this force that the tension that sun applies on earth you can use that term although it would not be absolutely appropriate but some other it would not be entirely entirely a wrong term you are just replacing the word force with the word tension sir if i take a ball try to put the rope and আমি <laughs> because it is transmitting through the rope and it is trying to bring the ball closer to me but it's never able to complete the action yes or trying to bring me closer to the ball but unable to complete it but yes in constant trial yes i understand sir thank you sure no problem as long as as long as it makes sense the effort is well put acha er por hole pull on both sides of the rope that means the opposing কোয়েশন ইকুয়াল but as long as they are working in the same element outwards you can call that force uh, tension which is trying to uh, pull the two objects together yes. when the objects are being having a having a tendency to go outwards where the medium is trying to pull them inwards oh that's the tension in the rope or spring or string hmm puja ji sir thanks beautiful আসওয়াদ কোশ্চেন করছিল হচ্ছে ভেটো ডায়াগ্রাম নিয়ে রাইট ইয়াস স্যার 
আচ্ছা ভিডিও রেমের কোথায় সমস্যা বলো আলহাত মানে কোন পার্টটাতে প্রবলেম হয় স্যার লাইক ড্র ক্যাম মানে ইয়াতে যে কেমনে বুঝাই আই বেসিক্যালি দা হোল থিং ট্রাই ট্রাই টু মেক ইট প্রিসাইজ ইটস ওকে টেক ইওর টাইম স্যার থার্মোকপল থার্মোমিটার টেক টু এক্সপ্লেইন করতে পারবেন আচ্ছা করব সমস্যা নাই স্যার মেইনলি মানে ইয়াটা যে আমরা যে রেজাল্টেন্টটা ড্র করি ওটা কোন ভাবে কেমনে হই অনেক সময় রেজাল্টেন্টটা ড্র করতে সমস্যা হয় ওকে দ্যাটস এ প্রিসাইজ কোশ্চেন গুড থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ইয়াও physics the scalar vector 20 pounds is the size and the direction is pushing down second is your velocity has both speed and pursuit wherever north six miles north do taking up to indicate so this is a vector a magnet goes to rolls north so what we'll do is we'll draw an arrow pointing up to indicate 6 miles north so what i'm going to do is i'm going to see what i can do this correctly i'm going to draw a arrow and i'm going to make it 6 centimeters uh, long so let's see if i can do this right so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. We'll do that. Put it done right there. So what's mean we can do either this of vector them. is if the question doesn't specify it, but if the question specifies something, we have to do that. Six centimeters long. So the length of the vector, six centimeters, represents the magnitude of the vector, six miles. So six centimeters uh, represents six miles. It's pointing up. So the upward pointing direction represents the uh, northern part. And then this part of the vector right here, this is the head of the vector. And this end right here is the tail. All right. So the tip of the arrow is the head and the other end of the arrow is the tail. The arrow points up to indicate that the vector is pointing north, and we make the arrow six centimeters long to represent a scalar quantity of six miles. So that's how we use a vector or arrows to represent vectors. The length represents the uh, magnitude, and the way the arrow is pointing represents the direction. Now suppose we want to draw a vector to represent a velocity of 90 meters per second in a direction 30 degrees north of west. Well, we start by drawing x and y axes and label them with compass headings. So, we draw a y axis and an x axis and we label them with compass headings. And then, Let's see how we can uh, start drawing this. 30 degrees north of west can be read as 30 degrees above the west axis. So we're going to draw a line starting at the origin of the graph right here and have it point 30 degrees above the west axis. So here's the west axis and it's going to be 30 degrees above the west axis. So you're going to need a protractor and measure 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is right there. All right. And then I'm going to do part of this in pencil. So, 
starting from the origin, and we draw it like that. So this is just a rough draft like that. Okay, and then, um, so this is going to be 30 degrees right here. And then to represent the 90 meters per second, we'll draw the line 9 centimeters long. So 9 centimeters, let's see. All right, so it's going to end right there. Okay, so now we can fill everything in. Like that. Okay. All right, so this is going to be nine centimeters long to represent the magnitude. 30 degrees uh, north of west, so that's going to be 30 degrees right here. So that's 30 degrees above the west axis or 30 degrees north of the uh, west axis. So let's sort of summarize. 30 degrees north of west can be read as 30 degrees above the west axis. We draw a line starting at the origin of the graph and have it point 30 degrees above the west axis. And to represent the 90 meters per second, we draw the line 9 centimeters long. All right, so this vector is pointing 30 degrees north of west. So this is 30 degrees north of west. And it's also pointing 60 degrees to the west of south. See, this angle right here is 60 degrees. So, or 60 degrees to the west of north, or 60 degrees to the left of north. So, 30 degrees north of west can be expressed as 60 degrees west of north, and that's because the angle between the west axis and the north axis is 90 degrees, and 30 plus 60 gives me 90 degrees. All right? So, that's how you draw uh, diagonal vectors. If, you don't, if they don't give you north, south, east, or west, if they give you, you know, 30 degrees to the north of west or 20 degrees south of east, that's how you do it. Well, we can solve problems by drawing vectors and adding them together. So here are the rules for drawing and adding vectors. Now these rules aren't going to make sense until you see them done, but we're going to read them out anyway. So keep these in the back of your mind as we go through the process of uh, drawing these. So the first rule is you draw the first vector, and I like to put a big dot at the tail of the first vector. And then uh, you place the tail of the second vector at the head of the first vector. And then you draw a line from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second. So let's do a problem that illustrates these three rules. A man walks 12 meters north, then 8 meters east. Find his displacement and direction. So we'll first start by drawing a 12 centimeter line pointing north to represent the first vector. So the first vector is 12 meters north. Let's draw a 12 centimeter line pointing straight up. So, I'm going to do it in pencil first. <laughs> so, let's see here. All right, 12, there we go. All right, so I'm going to do this. Can you see it on the inside? Yeah, okay. So, just do it straight up like that. So that's our first vector, and then we'll ink it in. I to look, sorry. Down there. Okay, not the prettiest, but uh, it works. All right, so. Our first vector to represent 12 meters north, we draw a line pointing up or north, and we'll make it 12 centimeters long to represent 12 meters. Now the second vector is uh, 8 meters east, and so uh, what we can do is uh, 8 meters east, um, let's see. So that means that the second vector kind of looks like this. 
Alright. It's uh right. Ugh. excuse me. Okay, so We can write that with an eight centimeter line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this second vector and move it over so that the tail of the second is at the head of the first. And before I forget, every time we draw these problems, you always put a big dot at the tail of the first vector. All right, so here's the tail of the first vector. I always put a big dot next to it. All right, and then you do that. All right, so I'm just basically gonna slide this over and put the tail of the second vector at the head of the first. So, we'll do this. Okay. All right, so this is eight centimeters. Like that. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. Okay, so to review the steps, we drew the first vector. We drew the second vector, and when we drew the second vector, we put the tail of the second vector at the head of the first, and then we drew a line from the tail of the first to the head of the second. Now, the uh, final line, draw, line drawn here is the resultant. All right, so this line is called the resultant. And if you measured the length of the resultant, uh, it would be 14.6 centimeters. So 14.6 centimeters, approximately. All right, you're not gonna get exact answers and you might be off a little bit, but if you're close to this, you're doing all right. Now, if you convert this to meters, we would call this 14.6 meters. So um, our man's displacement who walked 12 centimeters and eight centimeters, or 12 meters and eight meters, his displacement from where he started to where he ended is 14.6 meters, all right? Now, if we make the uh, tail of this first vector the origin of a graph um, to figure out the direction, so what we do is at the tail of the first, you draw compass points. So this is going to be south, and this is going to be west, and this is going to be east, and this direction is north. All right, well, if we make the tail of this first vector here, the origin of the graph, uh, the resultant, this line right here, points 35 degrees to the right of north or 35 degrees to the east of north. So if you take your protractor and measure this angle right here, it's gonna be pretty close to 35 degrees. All right. So um, this direction then is 35 degrees to the east of the north axis. 35 degrees east of north. All right. And by the way, this angle right here is 55 degrees. So another possible answer is that we could also call this 55 degrees above or to the north of the east axis. North or above the east axis. So our resultant vector is 14.6 meters 35 degrees to the east of north, or you could say 14.6 meters, 55 degrees to the north of east. All right, so that's how you draw vectors to solve how far someone's moved and in what direction they're moving. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been physics lecture number seven, drawing vector diagrams.
physicists, air traffic controllers, and video game creators all have at least one thing in common. Vectors. What exactly are they, and why do they matter? To answer, we first need to understand scalars. A scalar is a quantity with magnitude. It tells us how much of something there is. The distance between you and a bench, and the volume and temperature of the beverage in your cup are all described by scalars. Vector quantities also have a magnitude, plus an extra piece of information, direction. To navigate to your bench, you need to know how far away it is and in what direction, not just the distance, but the displacement. What makes vectors special and useful in all sorts of fields is that they don't change based on perspective, but remain invariant to the coordinate system. What does that mean? Let's say you and a friend are moving your tent. You stand on opposite sides, so you're facing in opposite directions. Your friend moves two steps to the right and three steps forward, while you move two steps to the left and three steps back. But even though it seems like you're moving differently, you both end up moving the same distance in the same direction, following the same vector. No matter which way you face or what coordinate system you place over the campground, the vector doesn't change. Let's use the familiar Cartesian coordinate system with its x and y axes. We call these two directions our coordinate basis because they're used to describe everything we graph. Let's say the tent starts at the origin and ends up over here at point B. The straight arrow connecting the two points is the vector from the origin to B. When your friend thinks about where he has to move, it can be written mathematically as 2x plus 3y, or like this, which is called an array. Since you're facing the other way, your coordinate basis points in opposite directions, which we can call x prime and y prime. And your movement can be written like this, or with this array. If we look at the two arrays, they're clearly not the same. But an array alone doesn't completely describe a vector. Each needs a basis to give it context. And when we properly assign them, we see that they are in fact describing the same vector. You can think of elements in the array as individual letters. Just as a sequence of letters only becomes a word in the context of a particular language, an array acquires meaning as a vector when assigned a coordinate basis. And just as different words in two languages can convey the same idea, different representations from two bases can describe the same vector. The vector is the essence of what's being communicated, regardless of the language used to describe it. It turns out that scalars also share this coordinate invariance property. In fact, all quantities with this property are members of a group called tensors. Various types of tensors contain different amounts of information. Does that mean there's something that can convey more information than vectors? Absolutely. Say you're designing a video game and you want to realistically model how water behaves. Even if you have forces acting in the same direction with the same magnitude, depending on how they're oriented, you might see waves or whirls. When force, a vector, is combined with another vector that provides orientation, we have the physical quantity called stress, which is an example. Example of a second order. Yes, sir. Yes. Physics lecture number seven drawing vector diagrams. A scalar quantity is just a size or a magnitude. Examples of scalar quantities would be 10 meters per second or 20 pounds of pressure. Thank you. Sir,
ওকে नजल close to that vehicle's body if the voltage difference is big enough electrons will take jump from the high negative object to reach to the high positive object positive object korte ashlo positive object ashlo chain reaction theke so that jump will happen when the electrons will make leave the negative object try to reaching the positive object and that jumping of the electrons is essentially what we call a spark as this spark will happen to atmosphere it will heat up the atmosphere of that exact location very highly so it will be a localized so high heating if you have available uh, uh, fuel molecules or fuel molecules which are usually uh, uh, volatile uh, the liquid evaporates pretty easily then if you have those uh, fuel particles in the air that is being heated up then the fuel and the air will start to combine with each other and that will that is what we call ignition so the 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 fuel will ignite so that spark will ignite the fuel and that can subsequently lead to an lead to an explosion so that's why it's not recommended sir explosion or ex what is the explosion release of energy explosion is a rapid release of energy or oh, rapid release of heat energy which will take on the form of a fire yes sir when the electrons jump they, they must have done it with sufficient energy they had acquired from the voltage difference yes. as they jump they lose this energy as heat energy in a very high magnitude ignite uh, causing the volatile fuel molecules to start combining with air or ignite perfect okay sir thank you so much no very good acha कपारियम two different metal wires which are joined at their ends so maskhane pura ta mane gunat tarer moto pechano na dui ta end shudhu lagano so maskhane is making a loop and if these two junctions are kept at different temperature current will start to flow so you can measure the tendency of the flow of charge using a voltmeter voltmeter use korle jeta hobe current flow actually physically hobe na because voltmeters are basically like open switches but you can measure how much tendency of current flow is being created in that uh, in that wire pair that is essentially uh, that voltage generation depends on two factors ekta number hocche the temperature difference of the two junctions arta hocche the choice of the metals that you have that you have had so metal dui ta ki ki sheter upor depend kore ebong temperature difference upor depend kore jodi amra ekta fixed pair of metal or couple of metal diye jodi amra different different temperature variation measure kori then we can always get this equation that emf is proportional to delta theta समस्या In fact, it is also possible that you can you can you can connect the two wires. I mean, monokar, tomar tomar monokar ekta metal pair as, ekta wire pair as, thamar kabo pair. Monokar left side junction ta chhod junction. Tumi tomar voltmeter ta ke 
একদম রাইট সাইড এন্ড ও লাগাইতে পারো মানে হচ্ছে তুমি রাইট সাইড মানে করো দুটো কোয়ার কে কোয়ার কে খুলে ফেললা খুলে ভোল্টমিটারের দুই মাথা দুটো কানেক্ট করলা ওই ভোল্টমিটারটাই তোমার কোল জাংশন হিসেবে কাজ করতে পারবে দ্যাট ইজ অলসো পসিবল দা ভোল্টমিটার ক্যান বি লোকেটেড এনিহোয়ার উইদিন দিস লুপ এনিহোয়ার এজ দা এজ এজ দা সার্কিট সার্কিট ওয়ার্কস লাইক হাউ ডাজ দা টেম্পারেচার চেঞ্জ এটা এটা বুঝ এজ দা সার্কিট লাইক এজ দা সার্কিট ফাংশন how does the temperature change well ideally if it's supposed to be a thermometer then the thermometer should not be able to change the temperature of the object that you are trying to measure measure that's the primary idea of a thermometer the thermometer jodi temperature measure korar jonno object ke thanda kore fele tale seta thermometer holo na ba seta ekta ft thermometer holo na the idea of a thermometer is that 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 should be used as a measuring device not essentially to make a change to the object that you are trying to measure there's a difference ोलोकेशन ultimately lowering the temperature of the hot body and increasing the temperature of the cold body and eventually it is possible eventually means i'm talking about a really long amount of time eventually that means eventually it is possible that the both the objects can come to equilibrium okay sir and you know yes, the sir. long enough term is the operating word right uh for the question the, the question that he asked i emphasize the idea of duration because honest when truthfully speaking the measurement of temperature of for a certain object should not take much time i mean using a liquid in glass thermometer we are okay with let's say a couple of minutes for what that is what we go for to measure the temperature of human body but if we, if we, if, the, if the measurement temperature if the if the measurement process itself takes let's say half an hour one hour then that's not essentially a very practical or useful thermometer that's why yes. i emphasize on the idea of time duration over here acha sir amar ekta prashno chilo टर there is one wire which is free of the voltmeter right oi dik diye charge ta pass korte parto na there is a single pathway for the charges to flow by for the charges to flow it has to be able to flow all over the body simultaneously so blocking in one location practically blocks all over oh, that is a property of charge right yeah the true uh, medium the charges to flow through the entire medium simultaneously yes sir understood हेलो अच्छा सुनो छोटा पंचान बजे Uh, we're taking a 5 minute break for the mug repair so we'll start at around 6 to 5 na 7 minutes uh, we'll start at around 7.02 and i'll definitely continue up to 7:30 no don't don't worry so break i'm going to take a break as well बाबा बोलो স্যার আম ওটা অ্যাকচুয়ালি কোশ্চেনের প্রবলেম না লাইক আমার অ্যানসারটা বুঝতে প্রবলেম হচ্ছে আহ 
Hello. If I am about to help you, I need to see the question, then see your answer, then I can give you the help. So I'll leave the question anyway. Otherwise, how would I get the context of it? Use that. Shafaid, do you question to upload Koro? To answer to my question, I'm going to help you. No problem. But I need the resources to get the context of the thing. Yes, sir. So, they can. So, one of the questions also she questioned at the Halata question. I'm going to slowly both the sea. I'm a Kothagula Shunajo. Any wave, whether that's a mechanical wave or it is an electromagnetic wave, its frequency is exclusively dependent on the source. The frequency of any wave is exclusively dependent on the source. Once a wave is already produced and released from a source, its frequency will always remain the same. Frequency of a wave will never change once it is released from a source. The only way we can have a different frequency if the source produces a wave of different frequency. No physical process, reflection, refraction, refraction, Hampton, high vis absorption will change frequency. As long as the wave will remain as a wave, the frequency of a wave will remain intact, unchanged. Information one. Information number two. Because V equals to F lambda, think, think in your head. I'm like this in our, think in your head. Try to visualize. V equals to F lambda. It can F touch a constant. V or lambda DT proportion of hell. Which means any physical happening or any physical change, if it affects speed, it will equally affect lambda. So, when it is certain happening, you know, the speed bar is equal proportion of lambda bar. Equal amount, equal proportion of lambda. If speed is double high, lambda is double. Speed is 30% higher, lambda is 30% higher. That's what I mean. So, speed and lambda are directly proportional for any physical medium. So, now, I'm going to talk about the reflection. The reflection is the direction of the direction of the direction of the direction. Because the entire idea of reflection is that you have a reflection medium at a wave after the medium of the boundary of the body is the medium of the reflection. The reflection is the medium of the medium of the medium. It is bouncing off from the extreme outside edge of the same medium. So since you do not have medium change, that's why it is being in the same medium. So V is same as well. Typically waves that you know, to my at a certain wave at a medium, a cot to go at a wave for two speed move curve. She did depend on a sitar. She couldn't medium with the past with the shader. For example, sound waves, which is a mechanical waves is highly dependent on the, on the effective transmission of vibration. Can sound with one of the vibration transfer. So to a medium particle was closely packed. Okay. For example, in solid sound can travel really fast. The loosely they are packed or the farther apart the particles are the sound will travel slowly. Jekarone in considering physical medium, existing medium, solid objects are the fastest medium for sound. Liquids are a bit slower. Gases mediums are the slowest for sound, for sound transfer. Whereas if you have refraction, not Reflection. At the reflection of the wall, reflection of the wall. In the case of refraction, wave will have to travel from one transparent medium into another transparent medium. For the sake of for the sake of symbol discussion, let's assume that these two sources are these two mediums are different. Acta monocoro water, acta monocoro che glass. Whenever a wave will travel from one medium to another medium, because that mediums are media because the two media are different. It will experience a speed change. In some cases, speed might increase. In some cases, speed might decrease. That depends on in which direction the wave is traveling. The ratio at which the speed change will happen, the wavelength will also change in the exact same ratio. It is a refraction. Refraction. I am going to ask you a question. What happens in diffraction is a totally different thing. Diffraction is a basic concept that you can see. Diffraction is a basic concept that you can see.
<clears throat> the next thing I want to look at is what happens to a water wave when it passes through an aperture. Well, I've fitted an aperture here, but it's rather too wide for what I need at the moment. So if I fit these sliding doors, I can make an aperture that's about, well, about three centimetres across. <clears throat> and if you now look at the screen, you can see that as the waves pass through the aperture, they spread out. This spreading out of a wave as it passes through an aperture is known as diffraction, and it's a property of all types of waves. This so is, what do you think... This is what I need to understand. As the wave was passing through this aperture, that means it's a solid barrier, it's a medium, water medium, it's the same medium, water medium. This wave is being produced in water medium. That means our aperture is in the water medium, and aperture is in the water medium. That means it's medium same thing. And when it's medium same thing, so, we can change the speed. What do we change the speed? Speed. Speed change the speed. We can change the wavelength. Change the speed. But, because of the existence of this aperture, because of the existence of this geometric shape of the medium, whenever the wave gets a much wider opening, the wave is spreading out. So, we can change the direction of the wave. This wave was incoming in a vertically downward direction. But, as it comes out of the aperture, it is now spreading out. This spreading out is diffraction. Difference between reflection and diffraction would say diffraction essentially works with spreading out in all directions. So it's a sort of a curvature out going outwards. Whereas reflection essentially represents bending once as it travels from one medium to another medium. Due to medium is a borderline. We made a borderline cross cross from my egg but change of it. It's a good state line. It's a good state line. It's a good state line. It's a good continuously curve. It's a good state line. 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 Curve over continuously. Let's go forward. It's a small video, so we'll, we might as well finish the video. Traction, and it's a property of all types of waves. So what do you think controls how much the wave spreads out? Well, one possibility is the width of the aperture. And what do you think would happen if I made the aperture smaller? Well, you might be surprised to learn that a narrower aperture leads to more. Do you see the shape of the curve? How the border the curve is? That means that our the widening that has become a bit more. Spreading out of the wave, more diffraction. If instead I make the aperture wider, then after it's settled down, you can see that the wave becomes less spread out. The diffraction is less pronounced. And if I were to make the aperture very wide indeed, then there'd be hardly any diffraction. Well, I'm now going to return the aperture to its original width and take a look at the effect of changing the wavelength of the wave. Now remember, I can change the wavelength by altering the frequency of the paddle using this control here. If I make the wavelength longer, you can see that the waves become more spread out beyond the aperture. More diffraction. Longer wavelength gives you bigger... And if bigger I make spreading. the wavelength smaller again, here's where we started, then even shorter wavelength, then there's, spread angle to then there's less see diffraction. Spread angle to so here are the two... Kiris, did you see that? Respond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. एक जन, दो जन, आर क्यों देखना है? तीन जन, पाँच छोए, यस सर, सात, यस सर, सवाई सवाई सवाई, अच्छा ठीक है, बाकी लोग देख सकते हैं फुली, ओके, सो दैस व्हाट आई वांटेड टू, दैस द आइडिया ऑफ डिफ्रेक्शन, सो आई I have completed my पार्ट ऑफ द डिस्कशन, एक बार तुम्हारे रिलेवेंट क्वेश्चन थे, लेकिन क्वेश्चन Third, increased density provides okay. increased resistance against the flow of energy, which reduces the speed of the wave, right? I don't know this for a fact, so I cannot make a comment about this. I understand your question entirely, but I do not know this, whether it is yes or no. Sir, reflection is khali, I shop seem to change the direction change, right? Current direction change. Via direction change, hai. Value Okay. अच्छा एक बार आप उतनी बोल से सार आहनाफ बोल से सार घुमाएगे सें आसें अच्छा एक ना आमा के खोजा खोजे होते हैं एसी पावर सप्लाई वीटी ग्राफ टाइप तू बुझाए दिए बन अच्छा एसी पावर सप्लाई वीटी ग्राफ माने वोल्टेज वर्सेस टाइम ग्राफ आ
জুনার একটু আমাকে একটু আমাকে একটু এলাবোরেট করো মানে হুইচ পার্ট ইজ কনফিউজিং ফর ইউ যেখান থেকে কি রকম क्वेश्चन আছে সেটা নাকি এটার ফিজিক্যাল मीनिंग কি সেটা মানে হোয়াট ইজ ইট দ্যাট ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু নো ফিজিক্যাল मीनिंग ওকে ভেরি গুড মনে করো मन कर you can try to visualize this in a way ei mechanism tar moddhe ei jaygate ekta electron er pump boshano ache not on the neutral wire on the live wire but the pipe is throughout the pipe is throughout ei pipeline er moddhe bhai wire er moddhe ei wire part er resistance onek kom but ei filament part tuku resistance onek beshi so this pump is pushing and pulling the electrons back and forth continuously ek bar electron gulke samne thelteche porer instance e electron gulke amra pichone thelteche so when the electrons are moving in this direction they have to go through a high resistance wire and electric energy convert into heat and light energy when the electrons are pulling backwards then also they have to go through the high resistance pathway and once again they have to convert the electric energy into light and heat energy so the live wire is responsible to make the push and pull on the electrons alternately Does it make sense? Sir, pull for pull. Ta arek bar pull ban. The live wire is the reason of the electrons electrons movement. The live wire is the uh, is the actual worker, where the neutral wire is the support mechanism that makes the work happen. Neutral wire na thakle live wire electron push in push out korte parbe na because the electrons will not be able to flow. So the neutral wire essentially provides the closed path for the for the electrons to make its movement possible. But the actual reason of the movement is the live wire. The voltage coming from the live wire causes the electrons to move forward and backward. Right, sir. Just a second. Hello, ma. Salam alaikum. समस्या sir i mean bolchilam je the voltage that comes from the neutral wire this is what is responsible for pushing the electrons forwards or backwards ulta bolcho neutral bolcho tumi sir i mean to live wire bolchilam na you said you just said neutral ai ba bolo try it again the voltage that comes from the live wire is yes. responsible for pushing the electrons <laughs> forwards and back causing Perfect. them to go to the high resistance wire lose their voltage energy which becomes light and heat yes yes and yes okay sir thank er pore hocche i guess sun nai sir asen acha er pore obhik ekta diagram dise na na sir er bad give me one time like this all quick sir as the electrons move forward or backward the voltage value falls as seen in the vt graph right yeah uh key, key, key. rises aba bolo bujhi nai ami khyal kori nai sorry sorry sir vt graph ta jokhon aken voltage time graph we get the sine hmm. graph right sine yes. graph when the electrons are being pushed forward it rises from a minimum zero voltage value to highest voltage value 
and it drops back to zero voltage value and the negative means the same thing occurring in the opposite direction. Yes. How late? Why doesn't it show the effect of the voltage falling? Voltage fall from the light energy supply. Why doesn't that happen? Everyone, do you have a question? Yes, sir. Do you have a question? 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 What he asked, if the voltage of the, of the live wire is changing, then the push and pull effect of the electrons are also changing. Which means the rate of energy conversion by this filament is not constant as at as, as well. Every instance, the power, instantaneous power of the filament is different, which is absolutely true, but in a very minuscule sense. Monokoro, actor bulber, actor bulb glow kore ki bhabe. Start a certain high temperature jar por she glow kar shuru kore. Jhoto tuku fast, amader electricity supply ta vary korte se. ওই টুকু টাইম ডিউরেশনের মধ্যে এই ফিলামেন্টটা সিগনিফিকেন্টলি লোয়ার টেম্পারেচার গেইন করতে পারে না ফর एग्जांपल আমাদের টিপিক্যাল যে হাউসহোল্ড কানেকশন আছে হাউসহোল্ড কানেকশনস এর টিপিক্যাল সাপ্লাই ফ্রিকোয়েন্সি হচ্ছে 50 হার্জ 50 হার্জ মানে হচ্ছে দা ডিউরেশন ফর ওয়ান সাইকেল ইজ 0.02 সেকেন্ড ইয়েস স্যার 0.02 সেকেন্ডস জিরো পয়েন্ট জিরো টু সেকেন্ড হওয়ার এসেনশিয়াল মানে হচ্ছে that variation of power will happen so fast that our visual system would not be able to capture it. Ah, that means the variation is occurring, but our eyes are being unable to capture. Exactly. Then what about the fan? Suppose that is not the bulb, it is the fan. Fans does not show that effect. Because fans are made from heavy objects. These are not extremely lightweight objects. You have metal bodies, metal blades. They have inertia. That inertia makes up for the variation. And TVs, TV to current chole gele just rush bondo ekelo. Why don't we see the power variation occurring in the TV? Because the in the TV the AC voltage does not work like this. There are a lot of conversion mechanisms which makes the effect generalizedly uniform. Oh, mane at the filament bulb jero kam directly একটা তার দিয়ে ফ্লো হয়ে শুধু লাইট এন্ড হিট কনভার্ট করতেছি টিভিতে আর অনেকগুলো তোমার সাপোর্ট মেকানিজম হওয়ার পরে আমাদের স্ক্রিনে লাইটটা আসে देयर আর লটস অফ থিংস টু মিনিমাইজ এন্ড 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 লেভেল লেভেল দিস আপ কমপ্লেক্স মেকানিজমস টু লেভেল देम আপ यस नॉट नॉट ফর আস রাইট यस যখন আরটা আরটা एग्जांपल তোমাদেরকে দেখা একটা ভিডিও দেখালে তোমরা বুঝবা তোমরা সিআরটি মনিটর বুঝো ওল্ড কম্পিউটার মনিটরস ट These lines are a representation of the variation of the images every once in a while. Or in other terms, I can say it is actually too bad at the video. I am just a bit of 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 a मोलिडियम 
from for any object as it tries to pass through it is generally called viscous drag. So air resistance is one type of viscous drag where the medium happens to be air. Okay, Shabat, no question, A2. Sorry, A3. A3. Sorry, A3. A3. Achha. Many cars are fitted with an airbag as shown in figure 9.1 in a collision. The airbags, airbag inflates and reduces the effect of the impact between the passenger and the dashboard. <coughs> in a test of the airbag, a heavy ball is used instead of the passenger. The car is traveling at 40 meter per second when it hits a wall. The airbag inflates and the ball takes 3.0 seconds to come to rest. In a test of the airbag, the heavy ball is used to insert the passenger. The car will turn around at 40 meters and reach the wall. The airbag inflates and the ball takes 3.0 seconds to come to rest. The ball has a mass of 5 kg. Calculate the average deceleration of the ball. Using the address of the deceleration, how the airbag uses the force of the ball on the during the test. The idea of the airbag is fitted. I mean, when the collision happens, I mean, step by step, we'll step by step. When the car hits the obstacle, a very large vibration gets produced in the entire body of the car. That vibration pops the air balloon really fast. So, what I need you to understand, try to visualize. Manushe, Jemanusha driving city Bosha say Tar hat staying Huli Rupore Tar legs and hips and ass Egulahoche Tar driving city Shadda Lagano. So the moment the car hits the wall, these things which are directly in contact with the parts they pretty much immediately become uh, experience the force. But his head, which is above his spinal cord. The spinal cord of spine above his spine, Uita Kintu act a flexible act a money wobbly act a object or motor. There is a support system which is the spine, Jaruper act a heavy mass round hack the head bushes. So it would take some time for the head to eventually move forward and hit the steering wheel. The airbag is designed in such a way that the compressed air which is kept in a canister opens up and inflates the airbag almost immediately as the car hits the wall. With vibration, you know, airbag is going to be And as a result, Masur, I'm going to class this. Class is going to be class. It's okay. Do me to just remember the group to bullet though. J. Sar asked the Sar Guajane, Jagase, which I say. Thank you. I love you. <coughs> My seven thirty kids are calling by. Kibul <coughs> Silam. As the person, so the airbag pops up almost immediately. And then this airbag is not like a traditional balloon, it has small holes on its circumference. So when the person starts to push on the airbag, oi holes gula diye aste aste batash ber hote thake. Ei aste aste batash ber howar jonno tar head ta cushioned hoy. So this airbag is not like a steel ball. It's like your pillow which is capable to squash down slowly. So you will you will be experiencing the same amount of change of velocity as your body as your uh, as the car but for your head neck region the duration of that of that of that uh, of that slowing down because of the existence of the airbag would be large so you'll have the same delta v as everything else in the car including your whole body but the time within which your rest of the body is getting the delta v which is which is t the t for the rest of the body is pretty small 
but for your head neck region which is hitting the airbag for that part your t is quite large now if you think about the equation of acceleration acceleration equals to delta v by t so for the same delta v everywhere which we cannot control because we were all together moving at a high speed we significantly increase the t value for the head neck region by providing the airbag that significantly reduces the acceleration of the head neck region essentially reducing the force and potentially saving the person from dead death or damages sir why does why such a beautiful mechanism for the head neck region only and not for the rest of the body as because both the same it is because our i mean limbs hands and legs if they are cut off from your body you will function you can still live if you get a brain damage you will die immediately if you are if, if i mean basically if i if, if i put it in this way we human beings are basically our brain that is supported by a skeleton which is coated with a flesh armor the everything that we have is there to protect the brain and the nervous system period we are our nervous system rocket sir ज good so you guys don't have much two questions after the opposite matter question course uh, is a referred when it is a property of one of the medium or a property of a particular acha okay, ami ei question gulo copy paste kore ami amader discord server e rekhe diyechi because i cannot entertain more questions right now ami aro question possible hole tomader pore pore abar class debo because i have another class so i really have to leave thank you everyone for for your participation the, i'll upload the video in due time and share you the link in due time goodbye bolo am shunte so goodbye bye sir goodbye sir assalam alaikum sir assalam